Tyson Fury secured a split decision victory over Francis Nunganu last weekend, though some controversies surrounded the bout. Many figures in the boxing and MMA world have raised questions about whether the boxing heavyweight champion used questionable tactics to win. Are we not going to talk about the fact that Francis hit Tyson so hard he turned him into a Muay Thai fighter? That elbow landed clean on Francis in the sixth. How hard does he punch? He punches hard, but it was a bit like a, a hook on the back of the head, a knockdown in round whatever it was, three. But yeah, apart from that, he didn't really get with him much else. I'm not sure how Fury can say that with a straight face. I mean... Israel Adesanya pointed out Tyson's gypsy elbow move, suggesting it played a role in his victory over Nganu. Adesanya humorously called it a cheeky move. He also noted that Tyson Fury landed a few sneaky blows, similar to a gypsy elbow. I had a good camp. Um... There was no one to blame or no one to do anything. It was a tough fight. I had to get off the floor to win. And um, yeah, no excuses. But that's what happens when, if, if I have listened to the media and all the so-called boxing experts, oh, it's an easy fight, it's a mismatch, it's not worth watching, then it, it, I wouldn't have uh, wouldn't been able to win that fight. Tommy Fury, Tyson's brother, shared his thoughts on the controversial victory, saying, yeah, I mean, listen, he's getting up off the canvas and winning, you know, that's the heart of a champion. He's a true champion. And listen, it is what it is. All credit to Francis Ngannou, who was a difficult man to box, isn't he? The combat sports world had mixed reactions to Tyson Fury's controversial victory. Some questioned his tactics, while others praised his resilience and champion spirit. Following the highly anticipated bout with Francis Ngannou, Tyson Fury addressed the controversy that has enveloped him. Accusations of cheating have arisen, primarily centered around two contentious issues. First, Fury landed a blow that many have deemed an illegal elbow strike on Nganu, a move that would typically result in a point deduction. If such a deduction had occurred, it might have swayed the victory in favor of Nganu. Secondly, despite a majority of fight experts and fellow boxers scoring the match in Nganu's favor, the judges awarded the decision to Fury. This has raised concerns and questions regarding the integrity of the scoring. While those who closely followed the fight might be aware of the judges favoring Fury over Nagano, the elbow-shoving controversy might be less well-known to those who haven't closely watched or followed the bout. Let's take a closer look at what transpired in the last round, as observed by Ronaldo. In the final moments, Tyson Fury was remarkably fortunate to escape without consequence, after delivering a clear and deliberate right elbow to the head of Francis Ngannou during the sixth round of their fight last Saturday night. Many fans strongly believe that this action warranted a point deduction or even a disqualification. The foul was so evident on Fury's part that it's challenging to understand why the referee, Michael Griffin, did not intervene immediately and deduct a point. Such a decision could have altered the fight's outcome, changing it from a 10-round split decision in Tyson's favor to a draw. It's difficult for people to comprehend how the referee could have missed Fury's elbow strike, as it appeared glaringly obvious. One would have to be either visually impaired or not focused on the fighter's actions to have missed it. It's arguable that Fury resorted to this elbow strike out of frustration, considering he was outmatched by the MMA icon from the outset, and even found himself knocked to the canvas. In the third round, Fury was consistently exposed to hard left hook counters whenever he initiated his own attacks. It was evident that Fury wasn't in peak physical condition, having gained significant weight since his last fight against Derek Chisora 10 months ago. He had not shed all the excess weight, which was quite apparent when examining his gaunt facial and upper body appearance. It seemed like Fury had rushed his weight loss, compromising muscle mass while failing to shed all the excess fat. This indicated that he may not have put in the necessary effort and might have been overly confident before the bout. It's also widely known that Fury has a history of pushing the boundaries when it comes to adhering to the rules in his fights. This includes actions like shoving, delivering rabbit punches, throwing low blows, and excessive leaning on his opponents. In some instances, referees have allowed these infractions to occur without intervention. Some critics argue that in his first and third fights with Deontay Wilder, the referees may have prevented Fury from potentially being knocked out. There were grounds to potentially disqualify Fury for his repeated fouls against Wilder in their second fight, which included delivering shots behind the head and low blows. 
Tyson's glove usage has also raised concerns, with reports of him employing some tricky tactics during his bout with Deontay Wilder. Many voiced their disappointment with the referee's decision not to penalize Fury in this match. During an interview, former boxer-turned-trainer Robert Garcia shared his perspective, aligning with the prevailing sentiment. He concurred with the widespread belief that Tyson Fury's actions warranted scrutiny. Garcia expressed his agreement, emphasizing that no apparent damage was inflicted. The interviewer, sharing similar views about the outcome, prompted Garcia to further express his sentiments on the matter. Many individuals firmly believed that Francis Ngannou had won the fight, and their argument wasn't just based on an opinion. They pointed out that he even managed to drop his opponent. The interviewer further highlighted that Fury had suffered a concussion from the punch that sent him to the canvas, as he could only recall being hit once throughout the entire fight. In response, Garcia expressed profound disappointment with Fury's performance, stating, Tyson Fury should never have let that happen. It was a very close fight, and the majority of people thought that Francis had won. That's what many believed. In a recent interview, Tyson Fury addressed the allegations of cheating with a composed demeanor. He confidently denied any allegations of illegal moves, emphasizing that if there had been any wrongdoing, the referee would have promptly intervened. Tyson Fury attributed the uproar surrounding the fight to the disappointment of fans and critics, rather than substantial evidence of foul play. Reflecting on the event as a whole, he described it as an extraordinary experience, comparable to attending 10 rock concerts. Despite the grandeur of the occasion, he maintained his focus on the aftermath of the fight, particularly the accusations that followed. When asked about the possibility of underestimating Nganu or being influenced by yes-men in his camp, Fury promptly dismissed such notions. He acknowledged Nganu's fighting prowess and gave credit to him, stating, You can't take anything away from Francis Nganu. He was a good fighter and gave me a very tough fight. Fury recognized that every boxer has off days, but emphasized the importance of moving forward, particularly concerning the fight itself. Fury openly acknowledged that he didn't feel his best during the undisputed championship bout with Alexander Yusk. Despite this, he conveyed a message of mutual respect towards Yusk and pledged to deliver what he called the biggest fight of our generation. In a parting remark, Fury brushed off comments from promoter Eddie Hearn, referring to them dismissively. He made it clear that his primary focus lies within the boxing ring, and he doesn't let outside opinions, whether they praise or criticize him, affect his determination. He stated, How good or bad I was, there's no footage of him, and I've never seen a man fight before just as a boxer, and that's it. As for Nganu, he also responded to the fight and his unexpected performance in a post-fight interview with ESPN. Nganu candidly stated, If I'm being honest, Fury would say I won that fight. I won that fight, there's no question about it. He acknowledged that even before the fight, he had the feeling that if it went to a decision he might not emerge victorious, not because of his performance but because he considered himself the newcomer in the arena, trying to disrupt the established order of business. Nganu recognized the structured nature of the business and the challenges in overturning it. He didn't expect to win through a decision, but he accepted the outcome and took pride in doing his best. He expressed a desire to do even better next time to convince people. While Nganu didn't directly accuse Tyson Fury of cheating or criticize the judges, his statement provides a clear insight into his feelings regarding the split decision victory that ultimately favored Tyson Fury despite Fury having a win recorded in the record books. Nganu believes that he gained invaluable experience from his first boxing match, which he sees as the first of potentially many more to come. He stated, This is really my first time stepping into the boxing ring and engaging in a 10-round boxing match with pure boxing rules. I tell myself that I didn't perform poorly against the number one heavyweight in the world. Nganu acknowledged that he will focus on building from that experience, working with the feeling of it, and preparing for the next opportunity. He expressed heightened excitement and determination to prove himself in the future, saying, This only makes me even more enthusiastic and determined to show that I was wounded, but I can fight back. The disappointment with the result extended beyond the boxing world, with the MMA community also offering their opinions on the controversy surrounding Tyson Fury. Israel, 
Adesanya candidly shared his thoughts on the fight between Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. Adesanya characterized the fight as a robbery, firmly asserting his belief that the result was unjust. He highlighted a specific moment in the 32nd round when Fury executed a combination that resulted in Ngannou being knocked down. While acknowledging Fury's skill, Adesanya also pointed out instances when Ngannou appeared less active, suggesting there were moments when both fighters weren't engaging as anticipated. This observation prompted him to ponder the strategic calculations that Fury might have been making in response to the unique challenge presented by Ngannou. Adesanya implied that Fury may have been trying to decipher the puzzle posed by Ngannou's fighting style. Adesanya also mentioned an unexpected tactical maneuver by Fury, shifting to a southpaw stance, which not only surprised him, but also left others backstage equally taken aback. This switch seemed to be a strategic move that caught Ngannou off guard, resulting in a moment of confusion and surprise in Ngannou's response. Adesanya encapsulated the mixed feelings experienced by many spectators. There was a recognition of Fury's boxing skills and the strategic intricacies of the fight, coupled with a sense of dissatisfaction regarding how the fight was conducted and ultimately concluded. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.